What's up, Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake here, bringing you this week's episode of What's New TW. So, we got a bunch of stuff for you today. Fishing season is getting red hot. There's already been the first couple major tournaments out in Florida. It's been super exciting, super jealous of all those guys out there throwing chatter baits and flipping stick baits on 25 pound floor. Seems like super fun. So, hopefully, fishing's getting good where you're at and it's warming up, you know, the farther you go north. So, we got a few things here for you. The first couple are going to be from Hyperlastics by a band of anglers. This first one is the Dart Prop Pro. So as you can see, it's a totally unique lure. This actually won the best of show freshwater lure at ICAST in 2020. And it's kind of a hybrid lure. It's a, you get in a swim bait and a prop style spy bait type of presentation all in one bait. So you're gonna be able to fish this thing in areas that you would never be able to get like a traditional prop bait or a spy bait with treble hooks on it. So it's got this weedless five out hook on there and you're just getting the actions of two lures in one. So even though it doesn't have a paddle tail on there, this rear prop that's attached by this longer wire, it allows this blade on the back to kind of swing back and forth and spin. So you're gonna get, it's gonna make the body shimmy and roll and get that kind of bait fish presentation, but you're gonna get that added flash on there as well. And you know, you got that big five odd hook, so it's weedless, throw it through any type of cover that you'd like. And it's got a lot of bite, the body collapses down, you're gonna get plenty of hook setting power. On the bottom, it's got this little weight, as you can see, it slides back and forth, and this kind of acts like a weight transfer system. So it's gonna slide down to the bottom, so just to be able to cast a little bit better. Sometimes those blades, you know, are gonna pick up a little bit of air, but that weight's gonna help, you know, get you that casting distance back. And then it's gonna slide right down to the belly get you that perfectly keeled bounce swimming action. Just a cool lure. It's made out of their soft tough plastic, so it's like a 10X tough, and you can catch a ton of fish on these baits, and they're not gonna, they're not gonna get torn up by bass. So you're gonna get a lot of fish per bait, but it is that material kind of similar to like a Z-Man elastic. You can't mix it with other plastics or else it'll melt them. The next one up from Hyperelastics is their new Minowa swim bait. So in the package, this one comes one bait pre-rigged on a 5 aught EWG style hook and then you have two extra bodies. So I really like this bait. It's got some fins on there, dorsal fin. It's actually got a double dorsal fin. So it hides that hook point and it's just gonna sit right down in there and it'd be super weedless. So you're gonna be able to get this thing in and out of all types of covers. So if you wanna fish up in sticks and lay downs, right now all the fish are moving up and getting in all that nasty cover. This is gonna be a great little swim bait you can throw in there. And something that they haven't seen before, they're really detailed with the 3D eyes. Uh, like I said, you know, the fins, the gill plates, they've got some awesome colors with a lot of flake and, you know, iridescent colors. So great bait fish profile. You know, the extra bodies, you can run those on a jig head, um, anything you'd like. You know, if you're getting ready for your lead season coming up here pretty soon, those are going to be great to put on, you know, three quarter ounce jig head, throw them out deep off that offshore structure. Next swim bait we got here. This one's from Angler's Choice. This is the new AC swim bait. This one I really like a lot. They have it in three and four inch sizes. They've got a bunch of really cool colors as well. I, what I like about their colors, it kind of reminds me of like, you know, those custom hand pour soft plastic worms you would buy. They've got some sweet colors. And another thing I like about this swim bait, it's going to be good on just a jig head, a ball head. You can throw it on a, a swim jig as a trailer, a spinner bait, anything like that. But I think it's really going to shine on an umbrella rig. So umbrella rig season is going to be, you know, right around this time, pre-spawn, spawn. spawn that bike gets really, really good, and three and four inch size is perfect for that. And if you look, if you're looking at everyone out on the lake, I would think 90% of the people throwing umbrella rigs are throwing some kind of ring body swim bait. So it's, you know, something similar to a Kitek. This is gonna change it up, that kind of flat side to it. It's gonna have a little bit more flash than you would with a regular ring style swim bait. And that tail is gonna get a nice tight kicking action, and you're just gonna get a little bit different set up than most of the other swim baits that people are throwing right now this time of year. So I think this is going to be deadly on an umbrella, umbrella rig. Let us know down below in the comments what your favorite umbrella rig bait is. Next up, we got a new buzz bait. So this is the new 30 Jig Scott Canterbury Pro Buzz version 2. So if you're familiar with the Dirty Jigs Pro Buzz, uh, the original one, the, the body of the buzz bait has not changed at all. What they've done is they've upgraded the plastic. So now this is going to come with the Big Buy Baits Tour Toad instead of that old uh, minnow style bait that it used to come with. So most people want to throw a toad on it anyway. Now they're giving you a premium toad right out of the package. So they're going to create, you know, a lot of disturbance on the surface. Going to have a great profile. There's a bunch of cool colors. So just a good toad to throw on there. And if you're not familiar with this buzz bait, what's really good about this is you can get this 
You can get any type of plastic you want up around this keeper and from the shape of it with, uh, with all the rings and the cones on there, it holds plastics on there really well. And what's good about this buzz bait is you can actually skip this under docks and stuff where a lot of buzz baits, you can't really do that when you have maybe a lead head and then your plastic behind it or just the, you know, the, the shape of the head doesn't allow it to skip very well. So this one, you're gonna get all that plastic up above that lead and it's gonna be able to allow you to skip under docks and overhanging limbs where a lot of buzz baits can't get to. So if you're looking for a buzz bait specifically to get under stuff, check out the Dirty Jigs uh, Scott Canterbury Pro Buzz. We got a couple accessories for you today. This first one, something I don't ever go fishing without. So this is the new Strike Zone Magnum Pocket Knocker. If you guys never used the original pocket knockers, I believe they weigh two or three ounces and they have saved me literally thousands of dollars of getting lures out. The Magnum version is now gonna weigh four ounces. So if you've always wanted one that's just a little bit heavier, I know personally I've always wanted one that was just a little bit heavier. And I think that four ounce size is just about perfect because I've actually made some myself out of four ounce ocean weights. And I think this is gonna be just the right size to just, yeah, to knock out those bigger lures. So, you know, especially big deep diving crankbaits, 8XDs, 10XDs, um, and stuff that you're fishing down, you know, maybe a heavier swim bait, stuff that you're fishing down in 20, 25 feet of water, that extra weight is gonna help you get those things unstuck. But this has no problem. You're not gonna have any issues, you know, snapping line and stuff when you're trying to get a small crank out on 10, 12 pound line in five feet of water. So just good all around pocket knocker. I recommend you don't ever go fishing without something like this. I always try to use one of these before I get out a more robust lure knocking device. So these usually work 90% of the time. Last up, little accessory we got here from Lindy Lure. So this is the new Lindy Rigger leader organizer device. So I know a lot of you guys probably already use these. These are not new to the market. They're just new here to Tackle Warehouse. And these are phenomenal little organizers for organizing your Carolina rig, lure, your Carolina rig leaders or live bait leaders, whatever you like. Um, here we got, you know, five Carolina rig lures on, or leaders on there. So, you know, if you do a lot of Carolina rig fishing, live bait fishing, I know we're super excited to use these for surf perch fishing. There's nothing worse than breaking off a Carolina rig and having to tie three knots, get all the parts out and rig that whole thing up with this. You only got to tie one knot. You got all your stuff ready to go. You're back in, you're back on the water quicker and not wasting time when you're actually out there fishing. All right, so we got a bunch of gear from Sims. So first off, we got a new shirt. Um, this is the new Cheers Fish It Well shirt. It's super soft, super comfortable. If you're looking for some new shirts, all the Sim shirts, I don't think there's probably any better shirts that are more comfortable, better material, better fitting than these Sim shirts. I highly recommend checking them all out. So the first thing we got is our new Waypoints rain suit. So we have it and we got it in the jacket and then we also have a set of pants as well. So this is super lightweight, super thin rain suit. It's a two and a half layer fully taped seam, uh, fully taped seam jacket. So it's going to keep you really waterproof. It's Sims quality. But what's great about this is it's ultra, ultra thin and super packable. See, this thing packs down and bunches down super tight. It actually packs into its own pocket. So if you just want a rain suit where you don't really need a lot of insulation or you like to layer up, this is a great option for you. So it's gonna pack away, keep it in a boat locker, in a backpack, whatever, and it's not gonna take up a lot of space and it's gonna keep you fully waterproof. On the pants, they have uh, like a semi-elastic waistband on there, so it's easy to just slip them right over your pants. These, again, they pack into a rear pocket on these. So everything packs into itself, it's super lightweight. If you're looking for a rain suit, maybe you, you know, you're down in one of those southern states where tropical storms come through and it rains really quick and you just need to put something on to keep dry, that would be a great option there. So um, again, when, you know, with the cold weather stuff, so we also got the new Sims Challenger uh, sweat, new sweater and then the sweatpants, actually. Um, the new sweaters, they're made from a, from a performance fleece material, so they wick moisture. Um, they keep you, um, they're super, super comfortable and soft inside. So if you're looking for some layering systems, uh, you know, put underneath your bibs and stuff like that, these are great options or just, you know, a nice hoodie just to wear out every day around town, whatever you'd like. They're great from Sims. Uh, sweatpants, I'll tell you from personal experience, I wear these all the time. When I get off work, I throw these things on. They're super nice driving around underneath your bibs. These are super comfortable. Uh, you want to check these sweatpants out from Sims. For the hot weather stuff, so we got some new, we got a few things from Sims as well. So the first two are um, adding to their super light series. So we got the new super light pants, and then we also have the super light shorts. And when you feel these things, you're going to see where the name super light comes from. I mean, 
it feels like you're holding a pair of underwear. They are an incredibly lightweight, thin material. This is gonna be great for the middle of summer when it's out there, July, August, it's blistering hot and it's just miserable and you need something to keep you cool and protected. So they all, they have UPF 50 protection. So the, the super light shorts, you know, if you want something that's a little bit more breathable, gonna get more air, the shorts are gonna be the way to go. But if you're in those places where the sun just beats you down, the pants are gonna be awesome. Again, these are super, super lightweight. And even though they're pants, they're not gonna, they're not gonna feel like you're wearing pants out there in those really hot conditions. They, um, the super light pants and shorts also have the stone, have a new stone cold mineral treatment on them. So you actually have a cool to the touch feeling. So gonna be extremely comfortable. I'm excited to try these out in the summertime. You know, you don't wanna have to constantly be putting sunscreen on those exposed, you know, on your legs and hands and stuff like that. So this is gonna be a great option that you're not gonna, not gonna feel like you're wearing pants and you're gonna keep fully protected from the sun. And then if you're in those places where it's hot and you're dealing with a lot of bugs, we got the new Solar Flex Bug Stopper hoodie. So the first one that I grabbed here is in their new riparian, riparian camo pattern. So I love the tan and then the camo sleeves. It's pretty awesome. Um, if you're familiar with the Sim Solar Flex shirts, these are great. I don't ever go fishing without one of these on. It's a UPF 50, keep, you know, long sleeves with the hood. You don't have to wear... You don't have to wear a, a gaiter and stuff like that. So keep the hood on, keep your you know, neck, ears, everything protected from the sun. And I uh, don't have to worry about using sunscreen as much. But with these bug stoppers, these actually have an insect, insect shield technology integrated into the, into the actual material. So it's gonna last the entire lifetime of the garment. So you don't have to worry about reapplying that bug stopper treatment. And it's gonna just keep you know, mosquitoes and flies and chiggers and ticks and stuff like that especially if you hike around to a lot of different ponds and you're going through brush and you have problems with getting ticks and bugs and all that kind of stuff on you definitely check out the new bug stopper line of stuff because that's going to help um, keep the bugs off you and then you're not going to have to apply you know uh, insect repellent and things like that which aren't really good for your skin anyway and if you are hiking around to different ponds and um, and different kinds of uh, you know streams and stuff like that we got the new dry creek z backpack so this is an awesome backpack and what's great about it is if, if you fall in the water or you're crossing a deep stream everything in this backpack is fully waterproof you can dunk this thing fully submersible underwater and you're not going to have issues that any of your gear are getting wet so it's got a true zip toothless zipper design so as you can see it's you know unlike most of the other zippers out there on the market full toothless zipper it's super strong opens up Inside, you got a large compartment. You actually have a sleeve in there that you can put uh, a water bladder if you want, or you can put you know, electronics, tablets, things like that back there. And this zipper, it's, it's self-healing. So if you actually smash it, blow out your zipper, you can just run the zipper all the way down, back around, and it'll heal itself. So you don't have to worry about your zipper breaking over time. You know, that's a big problem with things that get a lot of use. Those zippers tend to wear down and break. Not gonna have that issue with this true zip on here. It's got some additional pockets on the outside. It's got a sleeve that you can slide some rods through. You can put your net in there, keep everything organized. Just a great, you know, heavy duty backpack that's gonna keep all your stuff protected, especially if you're fishing in, you know, places where it's gonna rain a lot, or there's a chance you fall in the water, keep all your stuff dry and protected. Last up from Daiwa, we got the new Daiwa TD Soul inshore rod. So these were released last summer at iCast. And these are gonna be inshore specific rods. So we got them everything from seven foot to seven and a half foot. Um, they've got Daiwa's HVF high volume blank technology. So they're gonna be really, really light, um, really responsive, great actions, really sensitive, and you're gonna have tons of power with these. So the actions are all based for, you know, maybe the guys down on the East Coast in the Gulf that fish for a lot of snook and uh, redfish and flounders and things like that. You're gonna have no problem throwing, you know, little weightless presentations, small baits, and stuff like that and not have any issues. The guides are the Fuji Fazlite guides and they're angled that you're not gonna have any problems with your uh, braid to leaders going through. So a lot of people down that area are running braid to leader connections or straight braid. You're not gonna have problems with wind knots because the angle's on them. Down here on the reel seat, got a Fuji reel seat and it's actually got a double locking nut. So you got your regular reel seat locker right there and then you have another locking nut. So it's gonna lock that stuff in place. So when you hook into a big fish, that reel is not gonna twist and bind on you. It's gonna be locked in place. High quality cork. It's got a rubber butt cap on the bottom there. So if you're fighting fish or putting in, a, uh, putting in one of those uh, fighting belts, you got that capability right there on the bottom. So just uh, you know, great inshore rods, great for all types of saltwater applications. So 
even you know east coast in the gulf if you're down south fishing for like spotted bay bass things like that this is a great option to look at all right thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of what's new in tackle warehouse for more information or to purchase the product seen here today make sure to click shop or the link in the description below if you enjoyed this week's video make sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most excited about